What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Kevin Durant for the Phoenix Suns. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top. I'm just gonna bring this down towards the bottom of the eye and then pull that back up towards the top. Now you wanna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So I'm gonna lap the top of that circle, come down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's add a highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, bring that circle coming in and then back out. And draw that same size circle on the right. And then we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black going around that highlight. Now let's move to the center of the head and draw a curve for the bottom edge of the nose. We're gonna start over on the left. Bend the nose coming down, go across, and then up. And move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Now from the tip of the nose, let's step down and draw the edge of the mouth. Starting back over on the left, bend this down, and then up. Now in the center, step up, start with a point, and then draw on the upper lip. Start with the left side, going up and then down back to the center, go up and down towards the right. Let's add a gap in the center, coming down and then up. And it'll connect the corners of the mouth with the lower lip, coming down the middle, and I'll bend that back up. I'm gonna go back up to the top and draw on the eyebrows. Let's start over on the left, then it's up and down. Draw the same thing on the right side. Now you wanna add some thickness to the eyebrows. Go up in the middle and taper down towards the inside. And then we'll fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're gonna move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside left eye, let's step out and curve the cheeks, coming down. And I just wanna pull that into right about here. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. Coming down and then bending that in. Let's extend the beard coming down with a series of curves. Starting on the left, draw a series of small curves going all the way around, and bending that in, and just work our way across towards the right and up. Now we're going to go back and draw the top edge of the mustache. Let's start on the left side of the nose, and then bend this around the corner of the mouth, and then come down. And do the same thing on the right. Now from the left side, it's gonna bend this out and go up towards the side of the head. Now and connect the corners of the mouth with another curve. We come down the middle, round this out, and then go up. And then underneath the lip, we're gonna draw an upside down triangle, coming down and up. Let's fill the mustache and beard and that center point in black. And now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw the top half of the head. Let's start from the left side. Just gonna bump out the head going out, go up, bend that in towards the middle, go across, and then down along the right side. Let's draw the inside edge of the hairline. Starting back on the left, we're gonna go up, bend that in around the eyebrows, and go up and bend that in towards the top. Let's close off the top with a curve, coming down and bending that up. Now we're gonna stick the ears along the side of the head. Let's start back on the left, go out, round up the ear, and then bend that in. The 
Let's add the folds inside the ear. Starting from the top left, start with that first curve going up and out. Go back to the inside and add a hook. Coming around and then in. Let's switch to a thick black marker and fill the inside of the hair. And now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're gonna start underneath the beard on the left side. Start with the curve of the sleeve, coming down, and it'll bend that out. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. And then from here, bend this out and then down towards the hip. Let's connect the hips with the curve, coming down the middle, and it'll bend that back up. Let's add a thick trim along the side, stepping in. It's gonna follow that curve, going all the way around towards the side of the body. And then we'll add the collar in the middle. We'll start with a point, bend this out and up towards the left and right side. And we'll trace those two curves along the top. Now I'm going to add the number 35 inside the jersey. Let's start on the left side with the three. We we'll start with the outside, going all the way around. Let's go back up to the top and trace out the inside. I'm going to leave a small gap and draw on the number five. Starting from the inside. Now I'm going to go to the center of the body, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a small gap in the center, go to the left side, then the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, Go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Start from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up on both sides. Now you go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. We go up, bend this down, aim it towards the heel, and then we'll curl that back up on the inside. Now let's go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the shorts. Let's start on the left, going out and then down to right about there. And then we'll round up the bottom of the shorts, coming down and then in. From the bottom corners of the shorts, let's step in, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out on top of the feet. Now I'm going to go back and add some more detail to the shoes. Let's start by adding a thick sole along the bottom. So we take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. And then we'll add in the laces on the outside of the foot, bend this in and down, go up and bend that back in. Let's separate the laces with a series of curves. Let's take this curve and duplicate that going up. Now we're gonna add a thick stripe along the bottom of the shorts. And we'll add a stripe along the outside. Let's add the tongue of the shoe along the top of the foot with a half circle. Now we're gonna move back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left holding the basketball. So we're just going to line up with the shoulders on the outside. Let's draw a circle Go all the way around and then back up towards the top. Let's add those lines inside the ball. Start with the vertical line coming down the center and then the horizontal line going across. Let's add those two curves along the side coming in and out. I'm going to bring the arm coming down and up underneath the ball. Let's start from this point, curve the arm coming down and then up. Go up underneath the head, curve down and then out. Let's add the thumb along the top of the ball with a small half circle. And we'll wrap the fingers along the outside. 
start with another half circle, leave a gap, and draw this two more times. Let's move over and draw on the right arm, starting back at this point, then the arm going out and down towards the wrist. Then from the wrist, draw a half circle for the thumb, and close this off with a bracket. And wrap three fingers along the bottom, starting underneath the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down, go out and up, and then the third finger is gonna blend into the arm going up underneath the head. Let's sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Kevin Durant from the Phoenix Suns. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more NBA players, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.